welcome to part two of the RPG Maker XP tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial we covered the basics so if you're new to this then you need to go check out the other one or yeah anyways uh, in the last tutorial we covered maps, tile sets, uh, making maps, what the layers are for for the most part. Uh, we made an event that says oh so seductively hey there. I know you love it, don't you? Anyways, uh, okay, before we go on to the first page of events and possibly the second, if we have time, uh, cover some more basic stuff. Alright, uh, okay. This is a new project, uh, you know, basically how you start a game, uh, open project, save project, cut, copy, delete, undo, you know, that kind of stuff, uh, make it smaller just so you can like if you have a world map and you want to view the entire thing or uh, okay the database let's look at this <clears throat> okay the database is everything in your RPG uh, this and events work hand in hand I mean it's it, it brings a tear to my eye uh, how graceful it is uh, or something like that anyways uh, and the, right here we have actors and each actor uh, you can erase all these and make your own. Let's do that. Delete, delete, delete. Alright, let's name this one Brett. Since it's me, we have to make him look all badass, of course. Uh, see, oh yeah, that guy. I mean, that guy's a badass. We're picking that guy. Alright. Battler graphic. Uh, okay. The character graphics, what they look like when they move around on the field. Basically, your hero. And uh, whichever one's in the number one slot's the one you're going to be moving. So you know, be sure to I don't know make that one one you like. Uh, and the battler graphic. This is when you get into a battle, obviously. And uh, you know, it's what you look like in the battle. I don't know how to explain it really. I mean, anyways, we have all these. Uh, let's find the really cool guy, the one that I am. What am I again? Right, the giant squid thing. I mean, who doesn't want to be a giant squid? That's just cool. There he is. Alright. And, uh, here is your parameters. Just the level of... How stuff levels up, I guess. Every level up. Like, when you're down here, that's like level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4, level 5, all the way up through, you know, 99. It's just your curve, your experience curve, and your stats and everything. Uh, you can change your class, which also you can add more of those, and I'll show you that. Your initial level, the level you stop at, your experience curve, starting equipment, blah, 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 blah. Classes, uh, pretty self-explanatory. You know, you can use ones that have already made, or you can make your own, change the max to 9. Let's make this one called Awesome Badass, which is going to be me, of course. And uh, the weapons they can use, the armors they can use, the element efficiency, state efficiency, skills that they can learn, and at what level they learn them. Alright, let's go back here and change my guy to awesome badass, because that's what I am. Uh, skills, same thing. Basically, you can change every, change everything. Attack, agility, power, SP cost, which is your mana, basically. Change your maximum to 81, and you can make your own skills, and you can also animate them and stuff like that. Items, weapons, I mean, it's all just everything that's going to be in your game. Uh, tile sets, you can upload your own tile sets, common events, system, uh, your window skin graphic, which is your, you know, in your text boxes or whatever, what those look like, your title screen, your game over screen, the music that plays during all those, ba and what's everything called, G money, you know, name it, whatever, HP, hit points, you know, anyways. And that's the database. Um, up here is the material base, which is, like, if you want to upload a new song that you want to play during your game, you import, you find it, you know, wherever you want, like, let's pick Quiet Town, and it's in your game. Congratulations, now you can use it. Um, for some things, like tile sets, when you upload them, you have to go to the database, go to tile set, change maximum 51. You know, you have to upload it, name it, and then give it the graphic that you uploaded. Uh, the material base, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, this is basically all that is. Sounds, anything that's going to be in your game. 
Uh, scripts, I'm not too good with scripts. I don't really mess with them. I'm sure you can use them and make a really awesome game, but I'm just not going to cover that because there's so much to cover and just, you know, you're going to have to look somewhere else for that. Uh, sound test. It's not really a sound test. You can just play your music that you've uploaded. Don't know if you can hear that, but you can play it during your making of your game. Change the pitch. Make it high. Make it low. You know, stuff like that. Background sound, music effects, sound effect, etc., etc. Okay, time. Mm, okay, we're doing alright. <coughs> okay, now let's see if we can get through this first page of events. Alright, new event. It can. This we don't have to give it a graphic because it's not anything. Alright, the first page. Show text. That's of course for when you want to make something say something. That's when it has a graphic or you know stuff like that. Or if you want it to like, just for example, say you don't want, say you don't want to be able to pass this cactus. So we're gonna make an event there that says you can't leave, All right? And player touch. That means when you run into it, it'll say you can't leave. Simple, right? All right. Um, show choices this is for like if you s made a shopkeeper say or not a shopkeeper it's a bad example uh, do you want to accept this quest yes or no and uh, when cancel disallow means you can't there is no cancel uh, choice one yes choice two and anyways when cancel it, it's like choice two means cancel basically and so now you have more places to insert ev insert events. So like when yes, okay, go find my treasure chest. When you pick yes. When no, it'll say, hey, screw you, buddy. You know, just stuff like that. And, uh, next one is input number. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea what the fuck that is, so we're just going to skip that. Uh, change text options. This is your text box uh, where you want it to show up if you want the window behind it to be there or not. Button input processing. This is something I have no... I don't, I don't think you really use that. Uh, wait. Simple. Until the event continues, you wait so many frames. Comment, this is for you. This is just, this won't show up anywhere in the game. It's just to remind you what's doing what. That goes with switches and stuff, which we will cover later. Uh, conditional branch means. Mm, okay, we'll cover that later too. That's switches and stuff with conditions and all that. Loop, pretty simple. Uh, just loops your event over and over. Stop loop. Exit event processing, you know, just stop your event, erase your event, call common event, uh, label, jump to label, uh, control switches, uh, variables, blah blah blah, that's all stuff that we're going to look at later. Control timer, basically a timer for your game, you know, if you're running from someone or have to get somewhere at some certain time. Uh, change your goal if you want to increase it by f six, or decrease it by six, or, you know. Change items, uh, give yourself an item increase by one, who now we have a seed of agility. Congratulations. Change weapons, change armor, change party member. Uh, you can add or remove party members. You know. Change window skin, battle BGM, battle, all this change stuff. It's basically the same stuff. Okay, in the next tutorial, we are going to look at page two and possibly page three if we have time. And, uh, okay, hope you learned something. Peace my nickels or something like that.